Isaiah chapter 13 verse 11 And I will punish the world for their evil And the wicked for their iniquity And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible which means all praises to Yahweh, the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. This is Isaiah chapter 13 and 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. All right, so you suppose the how, okay? The scriptures say, how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. And this is why the prophets are out speaking his word through the four corners. The ones that are teaching his word is sincerity and truth. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, speaking of prophecies. Because the Lord said, how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Okay, so the Lord is at hand. This is why we understand we're living in Bible prophecy. Because the Lord prophecies are being fulfilled, man. Okay? It says, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Meaning this world, this society. Alright? This, this world of Esau's kingdom. Okay? Because this world was given to Esau behind the blessing that was given to his forefather. And we're finishing up to the last bits. Alright? And pieces of his kingdom. And when his fall come, it will be the fall... And it will be, it will be, excuse me, this fall come, it will be by the hands of the almighty Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So it says, how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. Meaning you're, you're going to, you're going to be, uh, in a, in a, in a, in a terrifying uh, way You're going to be terrified By the things you're going to see By the things that are happening around you And by the brightness And by the, the cracking of the clouds When Yahweh shall return All right, You're going to be terrified by the ways of the war In which the Lord is coming Okay It says therefore shall all hands be faint And every man's heart shall melt So if you think you're a tough guy You biggie You, you billy, billy badass all right, you sit in this high office and you pull strings, okay, in this society, in this world, and you, you know, you think you're a hot shot, you know, because you can take tack on the little ones, you know, you can misuse the prophets every, at, at the leisure of your pleasure, all right, the most high is going to make you as a travailing woman, you know, the most high is going to make you as an humble woman, all right, because you got guys that sit in these high places like the military, you know, um, the contractors and all these type of, you know, uh, real prestigious type of uh, 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 occupations they, they, they handle. All right. And they, and they control people's lives. You know, Esau wants to be the most. He wants to be a God unto all of us. He wants to be our God. He wants all of us to worship him. OK. And that's by the way of his RFID microchip. In which the Bible calls the mark of the beast, man. All right. It says, therefore, shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. And Salakia. All right, Salakia. I wanted to put this in there because uh, the brother, he sent me this yesterday and he told me, yo, he said, this is this is bombshell, man. You know, uh, you know, and um, this 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 right here proves you know, like when the elder apostle uh, Rumlop, he went into the narrow link topic. I didn't finish fully watching that video, but I gotta go back and watch it. I don't know if the elder apostle brought this out, but the brother sent me this. He sent me this through text, and um, this is Nero, like like uh, Nero link. You know, those like Elon Musk. You know that those that are implementing and you know know all this, the details and how this chip work. You know, because it's gonna be part. Of, of your new society, all right, in which Esau, the elites, are trying to bring. So it says Nero, all right. It says, um, meaning pertaining to a nerve or nerves or nervous system, all right. So that chip is also, it's a part of your nervous system. And this is why he, he wants, you know, 
why it's a part of your nervous system because you know it controls you all right and who controls us by our spirits the heavenly father he controls our emotions he controls our nerves all right he wants to sit in that seat as the most high it says sinews bowstring all right sinew string cord penis strength all right let's get to it let's get straight to the point right it says puppets it says in greek puppets puppets where nero spastos literally drawn by strings so he want us to be drawn by his strings he is the puppet master all right he is the puppet master and when you when you take that rfid microchip which is the mark of the beast you are now allowing these elites all right to be your master and this is why the lord said anyone any of those that take that chip you're going to be destroyed by the fire by the by the fire of the most high which is by the waves of thermonuclear missiles man you're going to be destroyed man all right puppets where nero spastos literally drawn by strings man all right so if you go into that word nero this is what you get in the etymology online all right so jumping back this is isaiah chapter 13 and 8 and they shall be afraid pains and sorrow shall take hold of them they shall be in pains as a woman that travaileth they shall be amazed one at another their faces shall be as flames so this is the great and dreadful day man all right with no man no dirt and ashes will be proud you know the more i can't wait you know to the lord you know brings this this day because this is the day of our redemption this is the day of our uh uh salvation because let alone while the lord is destroying before he destroyed his place ultimately by the ways of nuclear fire the elect is going to be delivered it says they shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth because you're going to be in a you're going to be crying and screaming like a, a pregnant woman giving birth all right they shall be amazed one at another their faces shall be as flames because your face is going to be lit up man by seeing by seeing the things that are happening before you by seeing the things that's going to happen to you all right by the brightness and the, the cracking of those clouds where the lord yahweh shah is returning with the mighty angels it says behold the day of the lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it so it won't be no more proud men you know and like we say here at great millstone man you can fool men but you can't fool the most high all right and this is why we the uh, uh starting with our apostle elder apostle tahar he taught us to do what be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai and just teach the truth. Because the truth is going to gather the elect. Alright? Not lies, but truth. Alright? Because it's all about the elect. So it says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. And that word, that word cruel is not a it's not a very gentle word, man. You know, it's not gentleness. Mosai is not coming gentle. To give a cupcake to a homosexual he's not coming to celebrate a birthday party with you all right it says cruel which just means terrible terrible and the scriptures say he's a terrible power all right our heavenly father is terrible man okay it says harsh cruel fierce savage so the lord is a savage when he gets down man when he does what he do to the wicked He's a savage. And niggas in the streets like to call themselves savages, man. You know? It says, one who brings grievous tidings, such as a sentence of death. So the Lord is coming to bring death, and he's also coming to bring light. All right? It also says that our Lord is a, is a, a man of war. All right? So he loves the war. Okay? So let me get back. Now this is verse 9 Behold the day of the Lord cometh cruel Both with wrath and fierce anger To lay the land desolate And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it And who are the sinners? The two thirds of Israel The ones that despise this truth Alright That hate the most high and you love death It says verse 10 
for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light and the sun shall be darkened and the sun shall be darkened and is going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible so you see the Lord is coming cruel fierce all right he's coming um savage he's coming to coming as a savage all right and he's going to punish the arrogancy of the proud all right it says and will lay low the haughtiness which is the wickedness you know your sexual wicked your wicked sexual preferences man okay your dirty wicked sexual preferences which is homosexuality everything that's unlawful your fornication it says and i will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible he says in verse 12 i will make a man more precious than fine gold even a man of the golden wedge of ophir all right so a man of the lord is going to be as precious as fine gold because a, a man of the lord he's going to be the last things left all right so if you're not joint into that household of one of the Lord's elect, then that's your ass, man. All right? Because the Lord has had mercy in upon his men. Okay? Verse 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day and in the day of his fierce anger. Whew. Verse 14. And it shall be as a chaste roe and as a sheep there that no man taketh up they they shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land all right every one that is found shall be thrust through and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword so you house niggas that are joined into esau you know you uh you people that are joined into these heathens for comforts and refuge let them be your god in that day all right because the lord is coming with his fierce anger so it says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. So if you're found, you know, within Esau's hand and, and, you know, you're found with the chip, you're found, you know, fighting against the Lord, then you're going to be thrust through no matter who you are. And everyone that is joint unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed into pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. All right. So I'm going to leave it right there. You know, I just wanted to make that quick and, um, you know, throw it in there because you had to put this up because the Lord said, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the almighty. So we supposed to how ye, all right, how, okay, and let you know. And that's what the prophets are doing, man. Week in and week out, in season and out of season, you know, no days off, man, no breaks, you know, hard work, dedication. So with that, I hope you are edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lords, hopeful elect. Shalom.